pose. Hello, this is Empire uh, Today I will kind of like share some uh, tips on how are we going to incorporate focus when we are practicing our kihon. Because sometimes when we do our punching or when we do our kicking, we kind of like don't put too much attention on our on the direction of our technique. Sometimes we just punch, you know, just for the sake of punching, for example, from this position, and our system tie just kind of like punch like that, you know, without really paying attention on the focus, or especially sometimes when we are kicking, we just kind of like kick like that, and then put, uh, you know, just to kick, or so that we could execute our kicking thing. So today I will kind of like give some kind of uh, sort of how are we going to incorporate focus when we are practicing our kihon? So for example, I am standing in my shisen type position. So I would imagine that, so imagine that there will be a vertical line crossing our body, dividing our body into half, like symmetrically, so equally on, on each side. And then after we have that line, imaginary line, then there's also a, a crossing horizontal line from the two points from one shoulder to the opposite shoulder, and so from our hips, from your, uh, for example, in my left hip, across my right hip. So I kind of like have some kind of a line here, line here, and line here. So first thing that we could do is just like if we could extend our hand, for example, and then make sure that our hand is like kind of like too stretched, or like too uh, shoulder is kind of like on top, just kind of like the relaxed position and extending our hand uh, naturally without too much uh, overextension and then forming the triangle and where the triangle is kind of like, you know, the vertex of a triangle is from aligned with my solar flexes, so like in here. So now when I got this uh, triangle in front of me, my imaginary target will be on the vertex of the triangle. Right, so now I could focus my punching, for example, on that imaginary target. So if I got my triangle in the front and I withdraw my other hand like this, so I could punch on the target. Same idea, when I got my, my left hand, I could punch on the target, then draw and I could punch. So now when I punch, I could focus on my punching. I just kind of like don't punch in the air like this, but now I have more focus. Now with my focus, I can also concentrate my kime and everything that comes together, right? You know, so I, when I punch, I just can focus on my kime, I can focus on my target, and I have more concentration on the techniques that when I'm doing. So when I punch, like this, like this, now I can focus on my, my technique, right? Rather than just like punching like this, right? So now remember, our vertex is just like this, a triangle in front of us, and then we could punch. Then, like that, right? Uh, same idea when we are kicking, right? So now this is my target. Now this is the center. So when I kick on my season type position, right? I just don't kick like that, right? So now when I kick, I bring everything to the center of my body, right? So like here, so now I got focus on my my center of gravity to the center of my body. So when I kick, when I raise my kicking leg, for example, in my gary, I'm gonna put everything together at the center of my triangle. So now when I kick, I could focus on my kick. Then I bring it back. Same idea, when I do my left foot, I kick, I kick, and then same idea. Right, so now when I kick, I just don't kick like this, like this. So now when I kick, I'm on my shisen tie, I bring it to the center and kick, right? And bring it to the center and kick. So now when I kick, I, I focus on myself, I focus on myself, I focus on myself, I focus on myself, right? So that's the idea. So now all our techniques has focus. They just don't kind of like kick or punch for the sake of punching. You could apply that also where we're on the side. So now we're on the side like this, right? So now I extend. It's kind of like a 
horizontal line, same line, right, from our body. So now, for example, same idea. When I'm gonna practice my, for example, my uh, my Gary Piage, I just I just don't kick like that. So now, when I practice, I can focus. Now my target's the same thing, center, and I can practice the same idea. So when again, here is my center, right? And so when I withdraw again, my kicking leg, focus, and then the same idea, right? So now when you do that, you always have focus. Just, you just want to kick like this, right? Kick like this. So always focus. Prepare, kick, focus, and then go back. Now for the more advanced, like the uh, black belts who is already doing the shirugeri, it's the same idea, right? So when I kick, when I imagine a triangle at my back, I just don't kick like this, right? I just don't kick like that. So same idea, triangle at the center of my back, right? Line here, across the line here, across the line. So when I practice my kicking, right? Keyhole, I bring it here, and now I kick to the center and bring it back like this. So I kick. Bring it back to the center like this. So now when I kick, I have more focus on my center. So even though I kind of like kick, center. Right? Raise, center. Right? Raise, kick, center. So now I just don't kick like this. It means my kick is instead of going to the center, it is going away from the center. Right? So remember, every time we do our technique, we have to always focus on our target, imaginary target, because we are not uh, hitting any object, punching, kicking, and you know, in stationary. So that will be for our uh, sort of tip for today, just when doing our stationary thing, again, focus, on your imaginary target. To the front, to the side, and at the back. Next time we're gonna do, uh, when we are in a uh, different kind of stance, using again the same idea of focus on your techniques. Us.